Today we're going to be taking our um, quiz for the section Earth Dimensions and Navigation. So we're going to take our quiz and once again you're going to click on it. All right. So it's, it's found in our uh, Microsoft Teams for Earth Science under Files. It says Earth Dimension and Nav Quiz 2020 and you click on it and then you download it and then you click on the downloaded and then this will open in your um, in your downloads so you wanna you're gonna wanna copy this so you can keep it whenever you need it copy it and then go into your documents and then paste it in there if you're on your laptop or whatever then you double click on it and there it opens up and you can make it a uh, full page and then uh, Earth's Dimension and Navigation Study Quiz click the next button to continue so there's the next button right there you click on it now we have our questions the greatest number of degrees that a traveler can ever be from the prime meridian is so uh, remember we have a globe of the earth and you can look at your earth science reference table uh, which you should be able to find in um, your lab section earth science reference table all right so we can look at our, our reference table here and find our maps of the earth it's page three maybe we went right past it here we go so uh, here's the prime meridian uh, this is zero degrees and you can see you can get up to 180 degrees to the west or if you're going east uh, you can go up to 180 degrees uh, to the east so you can go east or west but the farthest you can go uh, for longitude is 180 degrees so let's see what our question was again. It says, the greatest number of degrees that a traveler can ever be from the prime meridian is, and you go 180 degrees, and you check your answer and see if that's correct. All right, that's correct. You go on to your next question. All right, so now uh, we also have Earth's crust and the Earth core, and um, this is all reference tables. So a lot of this stuff, now that you guys know how to use your reference tables, a lot of this stuff, this is on page 13 of your reference table. Here's the Earth's core. And here's the uh, crust, uh, Earth's crust. So you can look at all this information about the um, the Earth layers of the Earth uh, using this uh, on page ten, and then I think on page thirteen. Let's see on page thirteen. Twelve. Thirteen. We have our uh, atmosphere, a reference table referring to our atmosphere. So you want to use that. And then, of course, uh, with uh, longitude and latitude, uh, we have uh, our map of New York State, and we have our um, map of the world on page four. We have a map of the world on page five that shows a, a bunch of, of places uh, like the Canary Islands uh, over here so there's a lot of stuff on these maps and you're gonna you can use all that stuff for your for your um, for your answering your questions all right longitude and latitude is all on here and then there was also uh, average chemical composition earth crust the layers of the earth the crust the hydrosphere and the troposphere uh, elements that are involved there so all of these a lot of these um, can be answered using uh, knowledge from your Earth's reference table or from your note packets uh, that you filled out in the uh, class notes section that's right there so uh, go ahead and, and answer all these questions and then um, um, upload this to your quizzes and I'll show you how to do that once again so now you can see uh, I've I've got my quiz results so what I will do is I will print this to my OneNote. So I have um, OneNote for Windows 10, all right? OneNote's for Windows 10, and I hit print. And then this will start blinking, and I open that up. And it says, um, what I wanna do is I want to go to uh, my quizzes section. So here's uh, period six, Earth Science, and uh, if I click on someone else's, so I'll just um, click down here. 
and there's a quizzes section, and then you hit OK, and you upload it, and then there it is. It's been uh, it's been printed to your quizzes section, and then change the name to Earth's Dimensions and Navigation Quiz. So we have Earth's Dimensions and Navigation. And then it's submitted to me, and I can put it in the grade book. So go ahead and uh, get started and get that done, and then you will uh, have your grade in the grade book. So have a great day.